Hi there, and welcome to our short video on how to apply for the Canadian Emergency Relief Benefit, otherwise known as the CERB. My name is Stacey Bartell. I'm founder and president of OBS Financial Services, OBS Tax Services, and the Wealth Management Store. Let's start by talking about how to log in. First, go to a web browser and Google search My Account for CRA. Once you get there, you're going to click on the link, and that'll get you to our login page. There's two ways to log in. One, you can use a sign-in partner, which would be one of your banks, if your bank has been selected to be a sign-in partner. If your bank's not one of them, you can also click on the CRA login. Once you click on either one of those, you will go to our welcome screen. The CRA welcome screen is identifying what sort of application processes that they have. Due to the large number of expected applicants, the CRA has identified specific days to apply based off of your month of birth. So, for example, if you were born January, February, or March, you'd be able to apply starting Monday, April 6th. If you were born on April, May, or June, the first day available to apply would be on Tuesday, April 7th. If you were born <clears throat> July to September, Wednesday, April 8th would be your first application date. And for those who were born October to December, you would have to wait until Thursday, April 9th. If you don't apply on one of those days, you cannot apply until the catch-up days, which are Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays for anybody born within any month. This process is expected to last through phase two and phase three of the CERB application process, as we do need to apply not just once, but every four weeks, you will need to submit a new application. If it's your day to apply, click on sign in partner login or on your CRA login, whichever you've chosen. If you clicked on sign in partner login, you'll get the next screen and it'll ask you what your select, it'll ask you to select your sign in partner. If your bank is not one of the banks listed, you will need to go back and select the CRA login in order to get the CRA login screen. Once you get there, you're gonna enter in your user ID, you'll enter in your password, and then you'll click on login. If you've never registered, forgot your user ID, or forgot your password, you, will, you can check out our video on how to reset or how to find out this information. If you haven't registered, you will have to click on register now at the very bottom. In order to register, you will need information from your previous tax years, so 2017 or 2018. Make sure you have those tax returns handy. Normally, they're asking for line 150, but that line could change. You'll also need to know your social insurance number and your date of birth. Once you enter your login screen and you get in, the first thing that you're going to be done, if you haven't been to the CRA site before, they're going to ask you for a security code. That security code would be issued out to you when you registered for your My Account or for when you had to re-register. That code is being mailed out to you and it could take five to 10 days. However, the Canada Revenue Agency is allowing people to apply for the CERB and give them limited access to their My CRA site until the security comes. So if you know your security code, enter it now. If not, select Ask Me Later and you'll get advanced to the next screen. Once you get to the next screen, you'll see that <clears throat> this is an overview for you and it'll have your taxpayer name in there. In this case, this is for Wiley Coyote. The very first section, is the COVID-19 CERB application process. In order to apply, click on the apply button and you'll be taken to the eligibility screen. Once you get to the eligibility screen, you'll have to go through a series of questions or a list of things that would make you eligible for it. In order to apply, you must first be a resident in Canada and be at least 15 years of age. You must have stopped working or will stop working due to COVID-19 for a period of at least 14 days. And you cannot be receiving EI, self-employment income, maternity or paternity benefits throughout the period time, which is based on four weeks. If you've applied in previous months, you must also not have worked. Uh, nothing must have changed in the previous position. Uh, some other things to note is if you have quit your job, you will not be 
eligible for the CERB benefits if that was voluntarily. If you've applied for and you are receiving CERB payments, EI benefits from Service Canada for the same eligibility period, you would not qualify. You must have earned a minimum of $5,000 in the previous 12 months or in the 2019 tax year from employment, self-employment, which would include farming or professional services, or had been on mat leave or parental leave during that period of time. All of these payments and all the criteria are based over a four week period. So if you were only off for two weeks within that period, you would have to apply under normal EI sick benefits if you were off for quarantine or something else. The Canada Revenue Agency has waived or the Service Canada has waived the one week waiting period if it is COVID-19 related. So to continue, select your period, select next, and the next screen that will come up will be your certification screen. This screen reiterates everything on the first screen. I suggest that you read the bullet points to avoid potential penalties or interest by falsely or incorrectly applying for the benefits. Once you've confirmed that everything is okay, click on I certify to the following and then click next. Once you click, you've now, your application process is now complete. The next screen you will go to will be for your direct deposit information. If you've previously enrolled in direct deposit as Wiley Coyote has done, he'll get a screen that just says that he already has that information up there and that he's confirming that the information is correct on his banking information. If he does not have direct deposit, he will be asked to complete the direct deposit information. For that, you would need a void check or a pad form. I'm just gonna show you a void check here. On the void check at the bottom, there's a series of numbers. The first one being your check number. This is not relevant and is not needed for applying for direct deposit. However, the next five digits are your transit or your branch number. Those are key that will say where your bank is located. The next one is your institution number. That's what bank you deal with. So institution or bank number will be there. Last but not least will be a series of digits at the end. Bank account numbers can be anywhere from five to 12 numbers. You do need to make sure that you include all of the numbers, including any one preceding ones or zeros. And yes, the ones on the screen with the box at the bottom are ones, they are not computer typeface. Once you've entered all in, you can hit submit and your application has now been processed. The following screen will confirm that your process has been done, that you'll receive your $2,000 benefit by direct deposit within three business days. If you're with credit unions, that could be four or five, just so you're aware that they do not operate as fast as the big five banks. It also tells you your application has been received and that you'll need to reapply for the next period. To now, at the bottom here, it talks about starting another application. That application is if you are applying for a different period. It is not for you to apply for your spouse, your kids, your brother, your sister. Uh, that is for you to apply for more than one period at a time. Each person has to lo log in and apply through their own Canada Revenue Agency account. If you do not have a CRA My account or are not able to do so, they have set up two automated phone lines. The first one you can reach is at 1-800-959-2019 or 1-800-959-2041 where you will be able to audit, go through an automated system to apply. We hope this video has helped you understand how to apply for the CERB benefits. At OBS Financial, we're always concerned about our, about our clients and everybody else. In light of the COVID-19 financial crisis, we're currently developing a video series on how to manage the turmoil that goes along with the financial crisis. This series will consist of 14 videos or so that will discuss everything from get your tax refund now, why you should file your tax return before the deadline. Why should you do a financial risk assessment and where can I find a tool to do that? What payments can you defer? Should I defer my payments? What if I don't need to? What are my options? 
refinancing. Under the current circumstances, should I be relooking at refinancing my mortgage and other debt in order to protect myself against the unknown? What about my investments? The market has been very volatile. How do I protect them? What if my investments are my only source of income? How do I stop the losses? And are there any safer places to invest my money? We also will talk about people who've lost their jobs, and along with that has been their medical insurance, either short-term or long-term. What options do they have to make sure that they still have a health care plan? For people that have lost their jobs on a permanent basis, do you know what your pension options are? In most cases, pensions come with a lot of different options when you've been laid off or lost your job. Can you still get insurance? Life insurance, mortgage insurance, disability insurance, and income protection. A lot of the carriers have changed and modified their application processes. This section, this series will tell you what you can apply for and how to do it and what things you should be concerned about. Once again, I'd like to thank you for tuning into this video. I hope it helps you with the application of the CERB process. And again, I invite you to visit at either one of our websites, www.obstax.com or www.wealthmanagementstore.com and check out our instructional series on managing the COVID-19 financial turmoil under the COVID-19 page. Thank you very much and have a great day.